All right, this demo I'm going to use the online tool Gravit Designer. Uh, so you'll have to open the SVG file and not the Illustrator file. If it says .ai, you need the .svg instead. And you're going to go to File, and you're going to click on Open Local File, and you're going to find that SVG file. It should look like this when you open it up. You'll notice you have a locked layer called Group and you'll have um, an unlocked layer and that's the one you're going to work on to create the uh, the drawing. You're still going to have a pen tool just like in Illustrator and just like in Illustrator you are going to, here let me zoom in a little bit let's zoom in there we go alright just like in Illustrator, you're going to draw using the pen tool. You're going to click to create a, a bezier point. You're going to go find the other end where that curve is going to end, and you're going to click and drag on the second one. You must drag, otherwise you don't get a curve. Um, as far as fill, we don't want a fill color in here, so or what? We, eh, we'll use white to fill. And then for the line color, we're going to use something bright. And we're going to make that a little bit bigger. Let's go 15 so that we can see it. All right. Now, I don't I can go ahead and set I can't set the next point out here, so I'm going to I'm going to make a straight line by clicking on the point that I just previously made, and I'll go out with the straight line and click and drag again to make another curve. There we go. Now I don't want a curve for this one because I want it to be straight so I'm going to click on the point I just made and I'm going to go out to the end with my straight line. Oh, uh, please save this file to the Gravit Cloud to enable autosave. Yes, I'll save to cloud, sure. <clears throat> so we'll call it uh, Logos and we'll save it to the cloud. There we go. Alright, so I'm still working with my pen tool. I need to uh, I need to go back to where I left off. Uh, so I just click on the last point that I used and now I'm going to drag it out to the end and uh, click the next point. Now I'm going to go as far as I can without having to have a curve. Click the next point and now I want a curve so I'm gonna click and drag to get that curved line now I want a straight line so I'm gonna click on the point I just made to make it straight go out to where I want that curve to end click and drag to get the curve there we go I want a straight line uh, I'm gonna go to the end point where I started and click and drag to get the final curve and there you go uh, now instead of uh, I don't want a border at all so I'm gonna actually where it says a hundred percent I'm gonna bring that down to nothing and the fill I'm gonna change it to uh, red and there you go uh, I'm going to zoom out using this button here and I'm gonna grab my uh, selection tool and I'm going to drag the logo that I made over to the right hand side. So there's the Nike logo. Let's make the uh, Adidas logo. So I'm going to zoom into that one. Now this part's going to be really easy because um, there's a bunch of right angles. <laughs> uh, not right angles but it's corners only. Go. There's the first one. It's white, so we'll change it to red in just a second. Here comes the second one. And here's the third one of the stripes. Okay. Now I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to select all three of those. And I'm changing their color to red. Here we go. Alright, let's work on the A. I'm 
going to zoom in a little tighter. I'm going to scroll down and scroll over. All right. I'm going to use my pen tool. I like to start on the corners where I'm going to get straight lines. I'm holding shift to create my next lines uh, because it gives me right angles. All right, and then now, now that I want, here, in fact, let's make, let's make this line red. All right, let's make, there we go. All right, uh, because I have a perfect circle here, I can actually click on the southmost point of this and drag, holding shift, I can drag over to get that curve to line up and then I'll go to the mm, the eastmost point of the circle click and drag up holding shift to get that curve right I'll go to the northmost point click and pull to the right holding shift uh, to get that curve right and then I'll come all the way down to where I want that to end. Ah, I don't like that. I'll con control Z to undo. I'm going to actually click and drag to get this final curve. And I won't hold shift for this one because I'm just trying to get it. I'm going to click on that last point and I'm going to go straight up. There we go. Uh, I don't like how that looks. I'm going to do that point again. So, click and drag. All right, we'll live with that. Um, for the fill color, I'm going to make this red. For the border color, we are going to make it 0% uh, to take the border off. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out. Now, let's see here. For this assignment, you do not have to cut out the, the white circles. If you'd like, you can try to add those yourself. I'll let you figure that out by watching the other video. Um, but I am going to, I am actually going to copy this. So by holding Alt on the keyboard, I can drag a copy of this over. Uh, and because it's very much like the D, I can actually drag another copy over for the D. But this time, instead of the uh, pointer tool, I'm going to use the subselect tool. And let's zoom in. I'm going to subselect the two points at the top of the A. All right, and then I'm going to actually just move those all the way up to the top of the D. we go and I'll go back to my regular selection tool I'm gonna to line it up on the D here all right and then I'm going to hold alt and make another copy of this for the other D all right now I'm gonna go back to my pen tool and I'm gonna finish the I hold down shift to get those straight lines and square corners all right one more shape for the top of the eye. All right, and then finally, uh, let's move this over a little bit. Finally, the S. Alright, and that is that is it. So let's zoom back out. Let's grab our selection tool and we're gonna grab the whole thing and move it over here. Alright, like I said, you do not have to take out the the circles on this logo to get full points. Uh, but if you do, you you get mad respect. <laughs>